Okay, so I made a stencil of my logo. So when you do it, I use the the vinyl for it's the Oracle 651 that I'm using since I don't have um, something to burn my screens. I still haven't picked up the stuff, so I'm gonna try to do it with the stencil. I just printed out my logo, so we'll see how it goes. I did it in reverse, um, well mirrored. That way, it will be the opposite, and we'll see how it works on the screen. So I gotta peel everything. Now we gotta put the transfer tape on there. It's a little dark. Put this transfer tape on there and that way we are able to stick it right on the screen. So let me get this peeled. Try to get it on there as, as even as we can.
it came out, I'm on here, but I don't like the placement of it. I guess I could have placed it better, but it's all right. My first one, maybe I can tilt the screen or something. Let's see. So, here it is on the screen. This is a set that we'll be screen printing on. I gotta tape it all off. Maybe it seems a little low. I'm gonna put it on the back, on the back of a shirt. So, hopefully it will work. But I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, see how that goes. All right. Okay, so I got this set up. This is the four color station that I got uh, that I was saying on Craigslist. Uh, it's kind of old. I don't have it uh, bolted down or, or nailed down because I use my hat press over here on this side. Um, I'm going to see if I can get something built for this. So I'm probably going to have my wife hold that down while I do this. I got to tape off all the edges. Uh, get my heat gun ready that I just bought. I bought the heat gun from Walmart for um, 20 bucks, and then I got uh, a 500 watt lamp for the exposure unit that I'm gonna build. I got that for 10 bucks. Nothing too expensive. Gonna try, you know, some uh, some budget friendly ways to go uh, while I first start off. So I got this on there. This is the the vinyl that I used uh, from earlier. So it looks like it matched up pretty good. I might have to adjust this a little bit once I put the t-shirt on there, but I will get back with you guys and show you once I have everything all set up. All right, so I'm just taping it off. I was getting a feel for it before I started recording, but I kind of suck at it, so I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know how much tape, how much tape I should use. Uh, if I'm overdoing it, I know this kit that I bought came with some tape, but I want to see if I'm probably going to have to order a bunch of tape, I guess, to do it. Just as long as there's no, no open spots, I guess, for the paint to seep through, it should be okay. Be cutting it nicely but just try to get it on there real quick again this is my first time ever trying to screen print so kind of excited and nervous at the same time nervous because I don't want to mess nothing up excited because hopefully it's something that I can get good at with some practice and uh, be able to do it more offering it with my with my shirt business instead of just doing the the, the vinyl i like doing the vinyl it's kind of simple simple and easy you know but this is something that i probably want to do more of instead of um instead of just the the heat transfer Especially for bigger bigger runs, I did um, I did a hoodie order for a local company here in my town. Uh, they were with the union. They were they were going on strike, so I was able to not on strike negotiating their contract. So I was able to make a bunch of their hoodies, their union stuff. But if I would have had a heat press, or I mean a, a screen press, it would have been so much easier, so much smoother, faster. I think I did, I ended up doing like 70 hoodies with um, a pocket. I did a pocket, um, it was a pocket, a full back, and the sleeves. So that was kind of a pain in the ass to do all with vinyl.
screen that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's a 110. This is the heat gun that I was talking about earlier that I got at Walmart for 20 bucks. Uh, I'm just going to use it to kind of like dry it a little bit. And my plan is to use my heat press at 300. I'm going to go 330 degrees uh, with firm pressure because I use for my heat transfer the Plaxisol ones I use it at 335. So I'm going to see if that works. I'm going to do a couple shirts. I'm going to try a gray one and a black one. Uh, or I mean a gray one and a white shirt with black. Since my heat transfer, the Plastisol ones that I got from FM Expressions. Alright, so I got this all set up, ready to go for uh, the screen print. I set up the shirt. I sprayed the, the bottom with adhesive that came with the kit to keep the shirt uh, tacked down. I kind of got it nice and centered, what I hope it's centered, I guess, but I'm gonna throw a little bit of black paint on. Again, this is my very, very, very first time. I don't know how much paint I should use or not use. Uh, I'm gonna smear some, smear some across here, just from videos that I've watched. I'm actually pretty nervous. I don't wanna mess this up or it be too, too much paint or not enough paint so I'm just gonna kind of smear it if I need to add some more I guess I could do it in a little bit so okay so I got some ink ink spread on there I've seen before where you kind of give it a I think a first coat to go through, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just go ahead and just get straight on it. Damn, that came out pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the heat gun to it. I got my thermometer gun too, or temp uh, reader. See how it goes just to give it some drying time. There we go. That's the shirt done. I'm gonna try a couple more. Uh, try to center it out. Looks pretty good to me. Came out pretty nice. Uh, I'll come back and put a video where I press it on the heat press. All right. So that first one came out pretty good. Now I'm gonna do a, a white T-shirt with the black letters and see how this goes put the paint down now right, here we go oh nice White looks real good.
Here's this one. Came out really good. Nice and dark. I'm really happy with it. I like it. All right, now I'm about to uh, press these with the heat press. Just for about maybe five seconds or so. I know you're not supposed to use a Teflon sheet, but I didn't know what else to cover it with. Came out okay. It actually has like a sticky feel to it. I don't know if I like that. I don't know, maybe I'm not supposed to do that or what? Look at the front. Alright, so the camera keeps dying, but I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. These are the shirts that I got done. I printed uh, six of them pretty fast, so what didn't take me too long. Okay, so the screen printing went pretty good. Um, the curing part wasn't so good with the heat gun, so I'm going to look into getting an actual flash dryer because some of the shirts did crack after I tested them by stretching them so hopefully that works out pretty good but uh, overall I really like to do the screen printing um, it looks a lot nicer earlier the feel was kind of rubbery but after it dries it's pretty good so I look forward to showing you guys some more videos of the screen printing and how that goes and uh, subscribe and like the channel see you guys